Well, making two stops in Connecticut today, Republican frontrunner Donald Trump. He held a rally in Waterbury this morning and another in Bridgeport this afternoon. News 8's Bob Wilson takes us to that rally in Bridgeport. It has been a busy week for Donald Trump, crisscrossing the state, starting off in Hartford earlier today in Waterbury, now in Bridgeport. Crowds everywhere he went, a lot of people excited to see him. The crowd was early, the line long, as Donald Trump supporters filed into a theater in Bridgeport. I voted for Obama because he was the voice of change, and for whatever reason, it didn't get it done. And I'm hoping Donald Trump can get it done, and that's why we're all here to support him. And before the rally, about a half a dozen protesters escorted out by police and Secret Service just before Donald Trump entered the arena. Mr. Donald J. Trump. And Trump lived up to his word. He didn't tone it down. He came out swinging at the other two Republican candidates. And even now we have three. I call it two, but I really call it a half because I think we have a half. We have a half a person running. Lion Ted Cruz has absolutely no way he can win. He's lying Ted. He lies. He had the same messages for both Waterbury and Bridgeport. He's going to stop jobs from going overseas. He's going to get rid of Obamacare and beef up the military. And of course, build a wall. And you have these guys on stage with me. Donald, you really can't build a wall, can you? Can you believe this? We'll throw that sucker up. Who's in construction here? We will throw that wall up so fast your head will spin, right? You know that. And his message hit home for a crowd that was angry and tired of politics as usual in Washington. I love him. I love him for what he stands for. He's not afraid to speak his mind. Um, politicians aren't really doing that great of a job these days, so maybe a smart businessman. And after that, the candidates keep coming. You got Bernie Sanders in New Haven, Hartford, Hillary Clinton making another stop, all making that big push to Tuesday. We're in Bridgeport. Bob Wilson, News 8. Well, as we've said, Donald Trump held another rally this morning in Waterbury. People lined up before sunrise to show their support for the billionaire businessman, and they outnumbered those who showed up to protest the event. News 8's Renee Schmiel talked to both sides. Trump, Trump, Trump. Jonathan LeBeau was waiting outside Crosby High School at 4.30 this morning to see Donald Trump. And it wasn't his first rally. I was first in line at the Trump rally in Hartford, and it's just a great experience to see him up close and personal. And he wasn't alone. Hundreds of Trump supporters were waiting to see the Republican presidential candidate outside the high school early this morning. Go Donald. Go, Go Donald. Donald. They say it was worth waiting in the wet weather since Trump gets them. I just love him. I've never gotten involved in politics whatsoever, and he just moved me. I was Democrat, and I switched over to be a Republican for Donald Trump. But not everyone standing outside was there to rally for Trump. A handful of protesters stood by the Trump supporters holding signs. They had a message for everyone there waiting in line. I just feel very strongly that Donald Trump's um, views and words are not at all what I value. The protesters didn't go into the rally itself. People filled the school gym and cheered as Trump spoke about national problems go and local Brilliant. issues. Waterbury. I love Waterbury. Waterbury has suffered tragically as a result of lost manufacturing jobs. Trump supporters were excited to see him in person and they believe he has what it takes to be the next president. He's real and strong, and uh, he's not, he can't be bullied, and I think we're all like that. Donald Trump left all these people who attended the rally today with a message. Get out and vote this Tuesday. In Waterbury, Renee Schmiel, News 8.